Hey, what's up guys? This is a beginner's guide on how to create your own GitHub account. So we will be using this account for our um, source code, uh, uploading our source code online so that we will have an access to it. Uh, maybe sometime in the future or you have uh, a team that is working on a uh, same uh, base code and you want to collaborate it. Uh, you just have to create or sign up an account in GitHub and um, work together in a single code base where you can um, update um, parts of that code base and then one of the members of your team or development team could also update uh, some parts of the code base. So in here, we will just create an account and perhaps later we will create our own repository and uh, uh, create a copy in our local machine. So click on sign up right here. And then in here, we will type or we will be providing our email address. So click on continue. We will create our own password, of course. And then username, you can choose your own username. So I'll just create my um, username right here. Uh, would you like to receive product updates and, out and announcements? So I'll just type in N for that. We need to solve this particular puzzle. So I'll click on this. Okay. And create an account. Okay. And in here, we just need to verify our email address the next page we are asked how many team members will be working with us so for, for now let's just create um, let's just select just me and uh, for example student and then continue okay so let's just enable some of these features. So for example, collaborative coding, automation, CI and CD, security, of course, uh, maybe later. Client apps, project management, team administration, and community. Or yeah, we can enable the security. Continue. Okay, so you have an option to um, select a pro, but of course it's a, it comes with a, a other features. But for now, let's just continue for uh, free. And just uh, wait for a few seconds. So basically, this is our own GitHub account. So by now, you can create your own repository. So meaning you can upload your um, source code online. Now, also you need to download this um, Git um, software. So basically you can uh, use this to work with your GitHub, of course, to upload or download your source code online. So just um, download the file and install the Git um, software. And also, also you can use the uh, graphical user interface for, the, uh, for this. So you have uh, option uh, GitHub this, uh, desktop. We have also source tree and other um, software or GUI software for Git. So basically, uh, this is just a tool that we could that could help us to 
uh, download and upload our uh, source code online between our local machine and uh, internet so you can also download this github desktop for your windows machine okay uh, but before that you just have to install the git itself download that for windows or yeah if you're using windows okay so if you already installed or downloaded that file you should be able to uh, open up uh, this particular tool which is a git bash um, cmd or cli where you can type in different commands for git okay so you can use this to uh, move around or move your source code between uh, between your local machine and the internet okay so for now uh, I have installed this and also I have installed the github desktop so for now let's create a new repository here in our uh, new github account so let's create a new repository okay and then you have to provide um, the name for your repository so for example um, first uh, repository tutorial okay and then you have an option to uh, type in the description for this repository and also you have uh, you have the option to choose between public or private for your uh, privacy or something so if you want your re uh, repository to be private you can do that but for now let's just leave it as public um, and then you can leave all these options at the default values right here and then create our own repository uh, let's just type in the description for now so this is optional by the way but we can just add um, our own description for now so first repository repository and then create okay so basically you will be presented with these options right here you can um, open up your uh, github desktop application to upload files you can also follow this um, tutorial or i mean guide you can type in that in here okay and then you can push meaning you can upload your um, local um, repository to, to this um, account so what we will do is open up our own um, create our own local repository and then we, later on we will upload that into our uh, account right here so i'll just create um, a directory for that i have here the directory or local machine directory right here so you can place it wherever you want inside your local machine so in here we can use the git bash cli for for initializing our uh, repository but we can also use uh, vs code to uh, initialize our repository Be that's because basically our vs code contains the um, terminal or terminal option okay so in here we could just type in git init okay and enter so that's basically the um, guide provided for us right here now i will i will just copy this okay 
and uh, go back to the VS Code. And in here, since I've already initialized this um, directory as my local repository, so what I could do here is type in uh, git remote and then add origin and then paste the this particular URL. So I just copied this URL right here. And reset. And then enter. So basically we're just setting the remote URL for this particular local repository. And this is the uh, online repository which is we have created right here. So we can now add um, files right here. Say for example, we will be adding index.html and then we have uh, styles.css. Um, what else? Uh, that will do for now. So index.html, we will be having, uh, for example, HTML5. link our CSS file which is styles.css and um, perhaps um, h1 first repository and then save and we'll check the status for this repository so basically we have and track files for our repository meaning we need to add this into um, files that will be meted or to be added into our repository so what we can do is just uh, specify git and then add command now we can type in HTML index.html right here and also the styles of the CSS but if you want to add all the files within or all the changes that we have made in here we can just type in the dot symbol and then enter okay and then try to see the status again okay so these are the changes that need to be committed new file index.html and uh, styles.css now we can also um, we can use the CLI to continue to push this to the online or our online account, but we can also uh, make use of our GitHub desktop that I mentioned earlier, and then we can add a local repository right here, and we just have to find the repository, say for example, the first uh, repository, uh, we select that folder and add okay so as you can see the application also detected the changes that we have made in the local uh, repository so for now let's just add the comment for our uh, commit so that will be first commit and then commit to master so master will be the, the branch, the current branch of our repository, and then publish. So our online repository should now have the files that we have pushed. So we have here the index.html and also the styles.css. So basically, whatever changes you have in your local machine or local machine repository, you can upload that in your live or this online repository so for example we need to add something into our um, a CSS file so basically I've added a few few lines right here so now if we add something or another um, div right here or any changes that we want within our project so for example uh, this will be class main and then we will target that here in our styles the CSS name so we can add for example the height of this will be 100 uh, VH and then the background will be uh, uh, 
let's check for example let's select a color um, red slight red and the um, uh, I think that we do for now so as I've said any changes that we would make inside our uh, local repos repository should have uh, or should be detected within our git uh, versioning tool or by our github desktop GUI tool for our uh, repository so um, as you can see we have made these changes and also uh, made we have made these changes within our index.html so again it is being detected here in our github desktop so these are the changes that we have made earlier so we will we will have to uh, add a uh, short description for this so updated um, index HTML and then we will just commit this and we can push those changes online okay and let's open up our online repository so as you can see the first commit is one hour ago if we refresh this then we should be able to get the updated version of our repository so it should contain the main uh, div and also our uh, styles that CSS should contain the that main class rules okay so I think that's all there is to it guys in this particular video and by now you can um, create your repository you can um, add also local repository and upload your uh, local into the online repository and then you can have a centralized um, base code for your projects and then uh, your team members could collaborate within that particular project so again thank you for watching and see you in the next video